So now you've got a great understanding of how earned value works, what exactly it is. We've been through a number of problems. We are moving into earned value methods, different ways earned value can be claimed and computed. Now, the Department of Energy has some valuable PDFs, PowerPoints as well, where this topic was explored in detail. I thought it would be a good uh, use of our time if we took a look at what the Department of Energy has regarding this. So let's take a look at this document right here. It says, as you know, earned value is determined by what has been physically accomplished. But how do you determine the physical accomplishment? Physical accomplishment is determined by measuring the progress of a given activity. There are numerous earned value methods to measure progress. On the following pages, we will focus on the following techniques. So they're taking us through fixed formula, milestone weights, milestone weights with percent complete, units complete, percent complete, and level of effort. So we are going to address these one by one. Let's start off with fixed formula. This is one you've probably come across in scheduling software or project management information systems. The fixed formula method for determining progress applies to work packages and control accounts. So, you know, in your WBS, you have the high level aggregates of work packages, which we call control accounts. And that is what is being referred to. So let's take a look at this slide where this is described. The fixed formula method for determining progress applies to work packages and control accounts that span a short period of time within an accounting period, less than three months. This method applies a percent complete to the start and finish of an activity. Generally, the percentages used in the formula are 0, 100. What does that mean? 0, 100, and I'll just highlight where we are on the screen, right here, 0, 100 means you cannot claim any of the earned value until 100% of the task is done. 50-50 means you can claim 50% of the earned value the moment the task starts, but you do not claim the other 50% until the task is done. 25-75 means you can claim 25% of the earned value for that task, that work package, that control account, whatever it is, but you can claim 25% once it has started, once it ends, you can claim the other 75%. And these are just some of the typical uh, earned value formulas out there. I should say formulas for claiming earned value. Okay, so as you go through earned value management in the real world, just be aware that other variations of this formula exist. But that is the fixed formula. It's pretty straightforward. The first number is claimed at the beginning of a task or endeavor, control account, work package. The second number is claimed at the end of it. Okay? And that concludes our review of fixed formula. In the next video, we'll take a look at the milestone weights method. Bye for now.